Hi, it's Mark Owen from Moose Marketing NPR, the editor of Punchline Magazine, and welcome to Punchline Talks. Today I'm at the Gloucester Food Dock. I'm with Sarah Mansfield. She's a co founder of developers Lady Bellgate Estates, and we're on Commercial Road. Hi, Sarah. Good morning, Mark. Welcome. Well, well, thanks ever so much for giving me the second bite of the menu for this fantastic building that we've got here. You're going to show us inside? I am. Come on in. So, the Food Dock, we've talked about it before. It's a £3.5 million investment of you guys. That's correct. It's a labour of love. It's a labour of love. Lots of people wouldn't have done it, I'll be honest with you. We thought we were, you know, people are looking out from in and thinking, my goodness, these guys are crazy. We're not crazy, we're not crazy. Well, we're, I'll tell you what. enjoying the process. When you open this door, I know we had a little scoot round earlier, but uh, if you can show us now, I, I think it's going to take I people's breath indeed. away. Let's so go. So, we're stepping in off Commercial Road. Come on in. See there over there, Gloucester Cathedral in the background, the old snooker hall, Gloucester bike project, and then over to Southgate Street. Okay, here we go. Thanks Welcome. So much. We're inside uh, Commercial Road, so this is the property off Commercial Road. We're sitting uh, at grade at the Commercial Road level at the moment, and we're in what are the old merchant's offices for the Keys. Uh, these were built in the mid 19th century and uh, were used by by the merchants and offices, but also a bit of warehousing as, as well. So we're going to walk through uh, the top three floors. So what you can see now, as you look out onto the dock side, is that we're dropping down. So we're dropping down from Commercial Road to another two floors. So there are actually four floors in this building, two off Commercial Road, and four when you look at it from the, the quay side. And it's a just an amazing view. I can imagine sitting here as well. I'll be sitting, changing seats Let's somewhere over so. the place. Let's so, do so. you just want to explain again uh, about the food, you know, food dock itself? You've got 15 units you're looking at, isn't it? Different sure. units. Yes. As we go up the stairs. As we go up the stairs. Up, we go up these amazing stairs. So, we've got 15 units, uh, up to 15 units, across an extension that um, we're about to start building, and this building and the building adjacent, which is Navigation House. And within there, we'll put 15, up to 15 food businesses independent regional food businesses from the area um, that with a range of food and cuisine um, creating a neighbourhood food environment for, for people of Gloucester, people who work here, people who live here and people who visit here. So I went a different way there. That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> so, so it's such a big space as well. It's, it's, it's a lovely nice. space, it's a lovely space and so we've got the front and the back. So the back side we can see up and across to the cathedral, up maybe Belgate Street. And you turn around and look on the south side of the building, and you can see through to the docks. It's just breathtaking, isn't it? And uh, there's the linkage with the keys now. You can really, really see it. Something that the Urban Regeneration Company talked about many, many years ago. When the Magnificent Seven projects were put together, you've got the keys, you've got the college over there, the linkages here, and that will go straight to the Gloucester Cathedral. Exactly. And you could be that bit, you could be that Exactly, linkage. the last piece in the jigsaw. I mean, it, there was a lot of vision there, and this is the last piece in the jigsaw, to get that connectivity between the city centre and the, and the docks. Okay. It's so we, a... we've been in here uh, now for about five months. Uh, there was a lot of damage to the building. There were, there were holes in the roof, there was water pouring through quite a lot of... Um, damp and rot in the building that we've been working on. So it still looks very, very unfinished, and it is. But now we need to um, be talking to businesses that want to come in here and allow them to put their creative touches and their creative ideas so that we can then work with them to make those happen. Well, when I first looked at the plans, I was thinking, well, how are these units going to work? How are they going to be make it work? Because they look quite small, but of course, you know, you can't really visualise it from there. And yeah. now here I am back a week later and you're showing me the space. It really it's is. Really wow. It's quite large. This and it's yeah. across two buildings. Um, we've got vaults below, which we'll show you, I'll show you later. Um, we've got an, a deck that we're going to take out and extend out. So it's, it's quite a large footprint. So we're going to go down to these next stairs, aren't we? Just going to yeah, quickly zip around the these other rooms. Get into the old fireplaces there and you can really see the sort of size and that, will it be down to the individual units to decide how they're going to, you know, configurate this? Uh, to, do, to a degree, I mean, they're listed buildings, so we're working with um, the conservation officers, um, and to a degree, uh, they have to work within that. But but within those constraints, then obviously there's also all all sorts of creative approaches that they can take and, and finishes that they can do. When we chat to businesses coming in, we'll want to talk to them about the size of space that they want. Um, and their configuration, and then work with them to find the best spaces. Now, how long do you reckon this is all going to take? Because uh, this is now starting to come together. It is indeed. And, um, you know, when does the process start of actually trying to find the 
the, the unit. So we're beginning to start now. So if anyone's interested, they can get in touch. Um, contact us via our website or via um, social media and, and we'll start talking to them. Okay, you can, we'll, we'll put the link from our website as well for That's you today. That's very kind, thank you. It's okay. We're kind, we're kind people, really. <laughs> and so again... So now we're at, at uh, the commercial road level again. So this is the level we came into the building at, off commercial road. So we come back down the stairs to this level. And there's another entrance to commercial road through here. And this is from the previous video that we did and there's the steps. Exactly. And there's, there's the, the steps, steps going out. It's all beginning to make sense and come together. Yeah, yeah great stuff. So we've got these other uh, stairs go down now. So these stairs then are the connection between the commercial road level and down to the, the level below commercial road. Well, you can see you've, you've stripped the walls back and now have replaced the timbers well, in fact, as well. We've rebuilt that wall that you're looking at there. So that, that wall was completely demolished and rebuilt uh, now, with, the, with the existing bricks. Now, you've been here quite some time, isn't it? It was empty for, was it 11 years? Which About used to be 11 owned? years before, 11 to 12 years before we came here. Yeah, it's owned by the so RDA, wasn't it? And, uh, it? It was, and, and yes, it's, it's had a journey. It's certainly had a journey. Now, you must have had some hell of a vision to, to take this on very brave. Wow. Now, the rumour I have... Uh, maybe you could clarify this was that there was some asbestos in here and that's why it took some time to clear up not not that uh, we know of no it, um, when we took the building over it had its, it had its surveys we then did our, our more due diligence and did more surveys you have to do that but no big problem there oh good stuff just see the shit. water and rock was another issue <laughs> <laughs> I can't deny it <laughs> no. but that's another issue let me show you um, what we've been doing while we've been working on these buildings so we're we're uh, we're at the level at which we're going to create a deck outside for people to walk on. So let me open the door, the openings, the doors to the opening, one of the openings that we made. There we go. And you start to get a sense of the views that we have. Wow, so, so you've come along here. This would now be going out to the actual deck to as far as the orange line over there, isn't it? I think is what you said. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> About where the camera is in the corner, that would be the line of the building, just inside from where the hoarding is. So we're building a deck out to that level. There will be the staircase up between the two buildings that we've yep. already looked at, to the left there. And over to the right, there's the staircase that sits between the Soldiers of Gloucester Museum and this building, and there'll be access off that landing onto the deck as well. So you walk onto the deck. And then there are four, Four businesses in this building that will trade out onto that deck, and another business in the world next door at this level to trade onto that and at this deck. I mean, what an absolute beautiful place you to know, sit you here. Would, you, you would you would travel a long way for a view like this, wouldn't you? I mean, it's you go abroad, and, in, you? and in many cities, cities would be proud of views like this all over the world. That's it's right. Fantastic. And when you've got the docks, the way it's all linking together, you can imagine people going down the Costa Canal or coming up from the Seven River you know, docking here, Absolutely. going for a meal Absolutely. here, you know, it's it's just gonna of course yes. we're over in the over in the far corner we've got Greek on the docks, we've got Setabello, we've got some Mediterranean, you know, there's some restaurants yeah. and stuff buzzing yes. away and you guys and you, are gonna be this, here as you've well. You've known this for, for years, you know, this this is a real jewel in the crown. Dock, the, the docks are amazing. Um, just need the right ways to see them and view them and it's been beginning to happen over the years. It's getting better and better. Thanks so much Sarah for showing us around. You're very welcome.